The husband of Scotland's former First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has been arrested. Peter Murrell was detained on Wednesday as part of an investigation into the Scottish National Party's campaign financing. Let's go live now to London. Al Jazeera's Paul Brennan is uh, there for us. Paul, uh, what's this all about? Well, hi, Adrian. It's a pretty dramatic development, uh, this, although the rumblings uh, about the way the Scottish National Party has been operating its finances have been uh, going on for months now. At least 18 months, the police investigation has been underway. Central to all of this is the um, power couple at the top of the, the Scottish National Party until very recently. That's Peter Morell, the uh, chief executive who was in post from the year 2000 until uh, March of this year. Uh, and, of course, his wife, uh, Nicola Sturgeon, who was the leader of the Sc Scottish National Party from 2014 until uh, just uh, until February. Now, the um, allegation that the police are investigating is that it's essentially... Uh, allegations of accounting irregularities. Uh, there was around $748,000 worth of funds that were raised uh, in supposedly to be ring-fenced for a second independence referendum to be uh, operated. Uh, but when the party finances were laid out in accounts form, that, that money appeared to be missing. Uh, so the police have been investigating for months and months now exactly where that money went and how it was, uh, how it was accounted for. There's also uh, a question mark about a loan that Peter Morell gave to the N Scottish National Party a loan of around £107,000, which the equivalent is about $134,000, uh, in order to shore up its um, its its day-to-day -day running costs. So it, it appears the party is in some financial trouble. Now, at the moment, we don't know the details. The statement from the police simply says a 58-year-old man's been arrested as a suspect in connection with an ongoing investigation. Um, he's in custody being questioned by detectives. The Scottish National Party is saying clearly it would be not appropriate to comment uh, on any live police investigation. Meanwhile, the governing body of the party uh, has agreed to a review of governance and transparency. Uh, where does this investigation and the arrest leave the, the Scottish National Party then and its hopes for Scottish independence? Well, it's been a, it's been a torrid couple, uh, few months, frankly, certainly at the start of the year, probably the last six months uh, for the Scottish National Party, losing both its chief executive and its leader in quick succession. There had been question marks asked about the way that this power couple, Morell and Sturgeon, had, had essentially dominated Scottish politics and had dominated the Scottish National Party uh, for so many years, and whether that was good for the party and good for accountability. Uh, as far as the independence question goes, uh, it's, it's undoubtedly uh, true to say that the independence uh, motion, the in independence movement, has been set back, uh, not just by Nicola Sturgeon's departure, not just by the question marks about the way the party is being run, uh, but also about, by public sentiment. I mean, the latest poll that was out showed that there is actually a majority of people who would vote no uh, to Scottish uh, independence if they were asked. A recent poll in February said that. And the Scottish National Party holds a new conference uh, later this month, in about a fortnight's time, uh, to try to work out exactly where they're going to go uh, politically. So it's not a great time for the Sc Scottish National Party, both politically or, it seems, financially. Yeah, it's new leader, Humza Yusuf. Yusuf says he can't comment on a live police investigation, but that it is. Uh, today's news is challenging and difficult. Paul Brennan in London, many thanks indeed.